Okay, let's prepare the hamburger meat. Throw a little bit of this in here. Tammy likes this. Garlic and red bell pepper. Egg. Wow. That's how you crack a bowl. <laughs> we do. Egg. Clean hands. I don't know why that's funny to me. This is ground chuck. Hello. Uh. Yeah, potentially. Okay, we're back at the grill. Of course, now I have got a video about how to make this grill, how I put it together. It has been a very good grill. It really has. <laughs> It's worked out great. The only thing I'm ever going to have to replace are these grates, and they don't cost all that much. All right. So, we got our hamburgers ready. We got our coals starting to go. That'll take a while. So, let's talk about the yard and the garden. I don't know, guys. I'll just be honest with you. Since I have moved down here, I have found that whatever I buy, to put out in the yard and I've tried to you know look and see what other people have in their yards and you can't go by what Lowe's or places like that have in their garden center because it is just a generic thing that they put in the same stuff that you would get anywhere else in Georgia apparently and it doesn't work here it doesn't live here uh, some of it will what I have found is about 50% of the plants I buy die uh, my garden right now all I have in it Because it's warm down here. It's it's spring right now. All I have in it is uh, four tomatoes And they're doing very well right now And I have Four peppers and they're doing very well, but it has rained it hardly ever rains down here. We've had rain like one time in the last month, maybe. I mean, it's crazy. Use the water from my house, from my hose. All it does is barely keep this stuff alive. It'll stay alive, but it's not gonna grow. I went to the state office, you know, that you can go to around here or throughout the state of Georgia and I put in the fertilizer that they said I needed for a garden and all that kind of stuff I may have put in too much I don't know but it has not you know I've put in dirt I've done all kind of stuff so I think it's just a work in progress until I get the dirt that I need in there and uh, maybe until I get my well fixed to where I can get some some um, water that's gonna work but in general um, my stuff in my yard is doing okay but a lot of it died because we had an actual freeze like two or three days of actual freezing uh this is a camellia that i moved from another part of the yard it's doing fantastic so i probably should get some more camellias um this is a uh hibiscus that i got for mother's day last year and i put it out here it's coming back i have so much stuff that is dead and so much stuff that I have transferred, like I had some wildflowers and stuff in here last year. And this is all new dirt. And it didn't do any good. Um, it's just a complete and total mystery. And I got squirrels. Man, these squirrels are insane. They dig and kill. 
you know my garden like they'll get in there i can't have any onions because they're going to find a way in there they're going to dig up every single onion uh, this is a lemon tree that looks like it's going to do okay this year i didn't have any lemons last year this is a lime tree it had some limes on it last year it's doing okay you can see where the freeze hurt it i have an orange tree over here that is doing the best out of all of them and when we put it in this location it was like oh this is never going to live but it, it's done the best it's just a, it's like i don't know if it's because of the light because of whatever this is a hydrangea that is barely staying alive again it stays alive but it don't grow um, weird stuff and I can fertilize it but it doesn't I don't know if it's just cause of the rain or what the deal is uh, rhododendrons and they stay alive they don't grow stay alive they don't grow I got them over here in the shade I, don't, I guess the temperature's too hot for them this is an azalea I cut all the way to the ground because of all this brush and stuff over here that I cleared out and it, it's you can see how much it's grown back uh, I planted three azaleas over here now you would think if an azalea lives right there they would live hello Jade hi 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 that they would live over here well one of them lived two of them died no rhyme or reason okay this guy Japanese figs he lives no problem he was here when I got here these palms are surviving you can see the damage they got from the freeze oak leaf hydrangeas coming back this fern stuff apparently lives everywhere these guys I guess I'm going to have to completely cut back if they live this shrubs I planted these first year I lived here they are staying alive and growing a little bit planted these last year they're doing fine I think what I'm gonna do and I planted I put a bunch of stuff here that uh, you know should come back you can see some of it I can't even know what this is this might be a pineapple matter of fact I think it is you can see these are coming back but there's hardly anything coming back in this and this is tough stuff i mean guys this is lamb's ear i mean that ought to live do anything so, oh and this is rosemary by the way that big bush right there it grows like a weed so i put some out there <laughs> why not this is it was a huge hibiscus and it looks ah there's a little coming okay maybe it'll come back i hope hope it didn't kill this whole hibiscus right here look at this lantana i guess it's going to come back lantana's tough as nails guys <laughs> i thought about putting some lantana in that i think that's what i'll do get some like this really it has to be like super tough ground cover kind of stuff and that's it that's your only shot oak leaf hydrangea knockout roses guys two years old knockout roses i have fertilized them when a knockout rose won't grow i don't know i don't know you tell me pot plant so you can see why i don't want to spend a bunch of money buying plants because chances are they're not going to live uh, so let's correct this not the camellia gardenia so maybe i'll get me some gardenias even the stuff over here like these guys these squirrels get in and dig everything that's in a pot uh some stuff i had out here died that was in these pots so i'm not feeling really garden gardeny right now 
I'll probably throw some seed out there in the garden just to see what grows. Because, uh, I mean, you got to plant early because it gets so hot. And then when they, you know, all the garden centers want to get stuff in at Easter. Well, crap, if I wait till Easter to plant, that ain't going to work. So let's focus back on the burgers. How about that? Coals are All right. It's been a little while. Those are starting to get white on the top. So let's just dump them out. Okay. Okay, what I did is I sprayed these with some like olive oil so they won't stick. Got me some barbecue sauce right there. So, let's spread these out. And I'm gonna cook them about four minutes per side. So I have this thing fixed where you can just lay it on there and then I can slide it on down there at the bottom <clears throat> I have this tray so I can dump my coals out every time and it's easy to clean up it stays pretty clean okay now and that is a fish cleaning table if you wonder why it's dirty looking because it's outside you are outside cooking here okay burger 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 Now, I have to tell you guys, when I grew up, when we barbecued stuff, if it went on the barbecue, it got barbecue sauce put on it. It didn't matter if it was a steak, it didn't matter, whatever. Anything you put, we didn't know any better. We thought barbecue, and then barbecue sauce, you were supposed to put barbecue sauce on anything that you put on a barbecue. So, that's what we did. I don't do that now, but back in the day. Get a dog fight going on right here. Uh oh. Falling apart because of my onion. It's okay. It's gonna be good. Doesn't matter if it falls apart. These guys. Get real quick. Come here, boy. Did four minutes. Four minutes. Put some sauce on them. So let's go do it. See, that's all I need. That's it. All right, guys, there it is. Burger, bun, mustard. <laughs> Yay, Amy. Here's yours. Okay. Your barbecue. All right. Thanks for making my lunch. I'll see you guys. See y'all.